Poor, poor Brahmin. Always getting shot, always getting picked on, always getting tipped over for no reason. No one protects a Brahmin. Until now, because a great new mod from JK Killer is all about defending Brahmin from hordes of ghouls and thieves and Talon Company and super mutants. So you know what we've gotta do! Greetings and welcome to Fallout 3 Modit Episode 1, Defend the Brahmin. Those of you that are already subscribers to the channel will know that I already have a series of Modit going for Far Cry 3, um, but I thought I would make the transition from the island to the wasteland and uh, start up a series of Modit on Fallout 3 too. Now this, of course, is Defend the Brahmin by J.K. Killer. A simple idea, uh, we have an arena, we have a Brahmin, we have a narrow bridge. Uh, the ghouls, the bandits, will attack across the bridge and we have to defend ourselves. Um, it's essentially a tower defense game, um, a, a bit like perhaps Plants vs. Zombies, except this, of course, is going to be Zombies vs. Brahmin. Um, this is not going to be a, a, a lore mod, you know, there's nothing kind of... Um, you know, this isn't going to be part of a serious plot line or something you're going to do to kind of like seriously immerse yourself in the character. It's something that is a bit of fun and it is not supposed to be taken any more seriously than that. But that said, it's a very well done bit of fun because there's loads of options here. Three computers at the front. First one will start off the match. Second one will allow us to upgrade the arena. Third one will allow us to hire mercenaries to defend us. Fourth one on the right will allow us to buy loads of stuff like ammo and the fifth one will allow us to buy fun stuff like nuclear warheads transporters and things to control our cow. Now before you get into the game we have a beautiful amount of uh, customization options for how you want to play this game. First of all we can choose how difficult we want it to be, how much health we want our Brahmin to have and the beauty of this is the harder you make it the better the rewards will be both during the game and um, after the game as well. Uh, we can choose if we want the uh, AI, the enemies, to just kind of stay on their side or whether they want us to, uh, whether we want them to attack all the time and we can choose if we want to come in with all the guns that we've got already or whether we want to choose from one of three preset classes that JK Killer has made. Now this also means you've got to make the choice between do you want to bring in all of your caps that you have from outside, your thousands and thousands that you have earned, or do you want to start from Diddly Squat um, when you enter the arena? Because every time you uh, win a round you will earn caps and we're going to use those caps to buy the upgrades. So if you come in with thousands and thousands you're going to be able to buy lots. If you um, simply uh, use one of the preset options here you're not going to be able to buy very much at all but of course that makes it more strategic and does make it more challenging too. If you decide to go the pre-made route, then you've got the choice between uh, a small guns locker, an energy weapons locker, and a big guns locker. You can choose one, but only one, uh, to equip yourself going in if you decide to not take your existing weaponry. And the advantage of doing it this way, of course, is that you are then therefore playing the mod exactly as the mod maker um, intended, and possibly getting a more rewarding experience with it as well. But what can we buy? Well, first of all, we can buy ourselves some um, soldiers, uh, 500 caps for the light soldiers, which are going to be very useful at taking down the, uh, the, the zombies and the ghouls in the early rounds. If we're feeling a little bit more financially solvent, then you can uh, buy yourself some heavy soldiers, except these ones, of course, will cost you more. I think these are 1,000 caps each. Um, and you can choose whether to put these soldiers on the front lines or the, or, or the rear lines. You have to choose their position. But uh, once you've got the front and the heavies, um, the, the ghouls are going to find it very, very hard to get through. But of course, the super mutants uh, will be far stronger when they eventually turn up. Um, you can also um, buy yourself some useful little gizmos. Uh, you can buy yourself a teleporter with your caps, which allows you to um, whip around the battlefield, maybe up to a sniper tower, maybe back to the control room, maybe over to the other sniper tower, maybe straight to the, uh, the Brahmin pen to protect uh, your... Um, cows. Maybe on the other hand you want to buy yourself a, uh, a Brahmin controller. This allows you to kind of change the Brahmin's location, heal them, and even create a little kind of a gate for your uh, Brahmin to keep them sealed in even more securely. Of course all of it costs caps and you've got to fight to earn the caps. 
but whichever options you choose the majority of your time is going to be spent down here amongst the ghouls amongst the raiders uh, fighting to save your uh, brahmin's life um, there's 20 rounds in this mod each one getting progressively harder with um, higher level bad guys um, and a greater variety of firepower coming against you but if of course you feel that um, hiring mercenaries isn't quite enough there's yet more that you can do in this mod Remember how I said this is a tower defense game? Well, let's start building those towers. Have a look carefully underneath those two walkways on the left and right. And there's the turrets um, hanging underneath them. Now have a look at the front sandbags. There's our second set of turrets which we have built. Now have a look um, close to me on my right hand side and my left. Uh, we've got a, a yet another set of turrets. Of course, all of these cost caps and all of these will, uh, you won't be able to buy all of these perhaps in a single round. You can also um, buy yourself additional sandbags and a huge set of secondary walls to help defend your Brahmin. Um, overall, there is just a huge variety of things to do in the more different ways of defending your base, and uh, that's a big credit to uh, J.K. Killer's time he spent on the mod, and uh, the fact that he hasn't just uh, kind of just slopped a few things down and said, "Here you go." He has allowed the player to creatively decide the strategy that they want to use. In terms of compatibility with other mods, um, it's pretty good. Um, I did have a, an issue with RH Iron Sights in that uh, some of the guns that uh, are in the presets don't work uh, fully with um, RH Iron Sights but of course because you can bring your own uh, guns into the mod that isn't that doesn't really um, doesn't really matter. Um, now I haven't deliberately haven't shown you everything in the video. There, there's Talon Company, there's Super Mutants, there are um, nuclear warheads that you can set off. But I wanted to leave some things that for you to just go and explore for yourself. Um, installation of this mod's pretty easy. Um, it's a standard Nexus mod, Nexus mod manager install. Um, in terms of load order, it's a quest mod, so put it up pretty high, probably probably uh, uh, just below some of the ESMs or next to one, next to any other quest mod that um, you have got. Thanks very much to uh, JK Killer for uh, making the mod um, and I hope to see more from him. I'm um, playing through his Overpass mod at the moment on my Let's Play series um, so look out for that coming to a YouTube channel near you very soon. Um, do like the video and subscribe if you want to see more episodes of Mod It and Fallout related stuff and do check the channel for all my other videos on Borderlands, Battlefield, uh, Far Cry and loads more. Thanks for watching, take care, see you soon, bye bye.